Hi all, I am Sharon Shaji, an IELTS tutor at BMAX group of institutions. I am going to speak about one of the modules in IELTS, that is speaking. It is one of the most easiest modules. The total time duration is 11 to 14 minutes. The format of IELTS is what I will be dealing with now. It is divided into three parts. The first part consists of four to five minutes with an introductory phase. The second part being one to two minutes where a cue card or a question is given to you and you will have to speak on it for two minutes, which is rounded off with questions. The third part being four to five minutes where a dis discussion happens between the examiner and the student. You are being assessed on four criteria, that is fluency and cohesion, vocabulary, grammar and pronunciation. Things that we have to keep in mind while attending speaking. The first and foremost is confidence. What normally happens to students is that they lose their confidence and tend to mess up things. Be confident. You all know what the language is all about. We all have learned about the language in schools. But what happens is that since we do not use the language often, we tend to forget it. So do not worry. Be confident. Second thing is warm up before the test. That is, do not go in for the examination without practicing for 24 hours. That is, you will lose track of what or how you need to speak. Relax, smile and be yourself. The moment you start smiling, you tend to relax. Imagine, the fourth thing is, imagine that the examiner is someone you know. For example, one of your teachers or one of your friends. If you do that, you will be at much more ease. Do not be shy for the test because you are not being tested for your knowledge. Keep that in mind. Do not worry if you cannot maintain a constant eye contact. Eye contact is important, but do not worry if you cannot sustain it for quite a long time. Pronunciation. There are common pronunciations which you need to take care of, such as wa, that is watch. You do not say watch. You need to be careful of such kind of pronunciations. You are being assessed for your ability to handle the language, not for your knowledge like I mentioned earlier. You need to continue speaking without losing confidence and without losing track of what you're talking about. Part 1 is like I said 4 to 5 minutes where you introduce yourself to the examiner and general questions will be asked about yourself for example like your hometown, whether what are your hobbies, whether you like flowers, all those questions will be handled in section one or part one of the speaking test. You have to keep in mind, do not exceed more than four sentences for the introductory phase, because that is where the examiner gets to know, know you. So do not exceed more than four sentences. The second part is where the, the examiner will give you a cue card where a topic is written and you will have a minute that is one minute to prepare and two minutes to talk on the topic. While preparing in the one minute that you have, you have to keep in mind, take as much as bulleted points so that you can keep speaking. In case, for, for example, you have to speak for two minutes and you have completed all the points in one minute. Relate to different topics or relate to the particular topic that you have and then keep talking on the particular topic. The, quest, uh, the examiner will ask you related questions to that and will finish off the second part. The third part is a discussion a type of a round where based on the cue card, you will have a discussion between the examiner and yourself. Like the above, it will be four to five minutes again. This is all about the speaking test. You do not have to worry because it is nothing co complicated. Feel free, keep yourself uh, Calm and you will be able to do the exam quite well. Thank you. Five years of trustworthy service over 5,000 successful candidates. BMAX Group of Institutions. For more details, log on to www.bmaxacademy.com.